Hello, you're watching New Vision TV News with me, Ruth Inasaje. We look at news around Uganda in this bulletin. We start off from Kamuli District, where six people were Sunday confirmed dead in a nasty accident, which involved a commuter taxi and a border border motorcycle at Nawantumbi Trading Center along Kamuli Jinja Highway. According to eyewitnesses, the driver of a speeding taxi registration number USZ 861J was overtaking two taxis which had parked to load and offload passengers before it rammed into an approaching border 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 cyclist who was carrying two passengers. Four of the occupants in the taxi, one of whom was a breastfeeding mother, died instantly, while the baby survived with head injuries. By press time, the police was yet to get the particulars of the dead. The police spokesperson of Busoga North Region, Michael Kasada, blamed the accident to over speeding and reckless driving and called upon motorists to respect the rules of road usage to avert such calamities. The bodies of the dead are at Nawanyango Mission Health Center, Mochari, and some are at Kamuli Hospital, Mochari. We move on to news from the capital, Kampala. The internal auditor of the Ministry of Public Service, Jaffa Kawe, has been charged with causing financial loss of 33.8 million shillings to the Education Ministry. Kawe appeared before the Anti-Corruption Court in Kololo on Friday, together with the Secretary of the Judicial Service Commission, Dr. Rose Lukwago, Dr. Opio Kroll, and Kuthbet Kagabo, who face the same charge. Okroll, who was the former commissioner, of Health Services and Human Resource Management in the Education Ministry is now the head of Human Resource in the Judiciary, while Kagabo is the Deputy Director of AH Consulting, which provides consulting services to solve clients' challenges in public and private sectors. Kawoya allegedly committed the offense in 2014 when he was the auditor in the Education Ministry. The loss was a was as a result of paying a private company, AH Consulting Limited, to recruit five staff that had already been recruited. The five staff were hired to work under the 74.44, I beg your pardon, it is $74.44 million, which is about 275.4 billion shillings. African Devel from the African Development Bank Higher Education Service and Technology, uh, the fifth project in the Education Ministry. Now, the accused denied the charges, and Chief Magistrate Pamela Lamono released him on, on a cash bail of three million shillings, ruling that his sureties are substantial. The sureties, who were directed by court to execute a non cash bond of 20 million shillings, include William Kagambo, the ICT Office of the Ministry of Lands, Dorothy Okecho, the internal auditor of the Ministry of Public Service, and Adiga Tumwine, a senior internal auditor with Uganda Prisons Services. They are relatives and friends of the accused. The magistrate directed the Inspectorate of Government, prosecutors bled by Hassan Walusimbi to disclose to the defense team documents they intend to use as evidence during trial since investigations are complete. Yes, you're watching New Vision TV News around Uganda. We take a short break and look at what is making news in today's copy of the New Vision. Now, for those who are going to access the hard copy of the new vision, the link is on your screen. All you have to do is to subscribe to our e-paper and access all the products published by Vision Group. I am Marithina Saje. You're still watching New Vision TV news around Uganda. We continue looking at more stories making news around the country. From Mbara District, Mbara University of Science and Technology, top leadership has warned medical students against indulging in exam malpractice, saying it may lead to the expulsion from the medical profession. The warning was sounded by Professor Nixon Kamkama, the deputy vice chairperson in charge of academic 
academic affairs during the second edition of the White Coat Ceremony on Friday. The White Coat Ceremony is an induction of all clinical health science professionals into professional health care. We close off the news around Uganda from Untungamo district where 10 head of cattle were killed by lightning last week. Nine of them belong to Yusia Kainibandira of Chondo Cell, Cho Chafara, Chafara Parish, Kakanina sub-county. This is the second time lightning is striking in the same area this year. Early this year, lightning killed five head of cattle in the same village, while last year it struck at Chafora Health Center too, injuring four women who were in a meeting. Kaine Bandura said seven of the cattle were in, were in calf and were giving him milk. Nathan Karamuzi arrested asked the government to support those whose cows were struck by lightning. That is all I had for you today. Thank you for watching. Be sure to catch my news updates on other programs here on New Vision TV by visiting our website, which is newvision.co.ug forward slash video. You can also follow us on our Facebook pages. Facebook is the New Vision. Twitter is at New Vision Wire. Instagram is at New Vision Wire. And our YouTube channel is New Vision TV. Catch up with me on my Twitter handle. I am Ruth the Voice.